Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2012 Coachman Murata 32DS motorhome. This is a class A motorhome with a big Ford V10 with 362 horsepower. This is a nicer one. It has power awning on the outside, an uh, 18 foot power awning. It's got the bigger 50 amp generator and 50 amp power cord to support two air conditioners. Generator's running right now, there's no problem with it. Some of these are green, some are black, different colors. This is the uh, Marquise Gold series generator, the best in the business. And it's very quiet running. There's a big 50 amp power cable, so when you go to the campground, you can plug in all your gizmos and have plenty of power to run. Two air conditioners, hair dryers, microwaves, stuff like that. 18 foot power awning, two slide outs. This power awning has a brand new fabric. It's been on there for 24 hours. So the fabric is brand new. We had to replace it because it had a little bit of cracking on the top, but mostly this RV is like brand new. The fabric all the way up and it's white underneath so it'll be nice and light under here. As an LED porch light, this one right here. There's a glossy mirror finish fiberglass exterior, partial body paint. There are a few stickers on here, but mostly it's painted. This is all painted skirt and partial paint. large white convex towing mirrors a one-piece windshield now I know a lot about Coachman Murata's I'm kind of a expert on the Coachman Murata series I've actually exported 10 of these motorhomes out of the US to Australia and New Zealand so I'm very familiar this one is a little bit wider version about six inches wider than the ones we shipped to Australia but it's a very, very good brand, sought after worldwide. This one has large, full pass-through cargo compartments. There's basically no noteworthy cosmetic damage. It's never been crashed. It's never been driven in the snow and rain. Look at the exhaust. This video was shot in October 2020 and even the exhaust pipes not rusted or anything like that it looks like excellent condition not all rusty you can usually look at our vehicle and look at the exhaust pipe and see how rusty they are and that'll tell you the condition of the trailer hitch it has a 5,000 pound towing package your trailer hitch right here with a seven pin connector easy access to the connector and the trailer hitch is kind of up high, protected and tucked in there. Has a full rear cap and a locking gas cap. The gas tank holds 80 gallons of fuel and it's not so easy to get in there and steal it. It's got a locking gas cap and now notice that that's a center rear fuel point. So when you go to buy gas, you can buy from the left side, you can buy from the right side or you can back up to a pump if you using the backup camera this has a really nice backup camera it's a micro mini clear view backup camera and as i'm looking at the fiberglass what i'm going to want you to look at is the mirror finish as we see the reflection of the building in the back in the fiberglass A lot of motorhomes, especially the ones that are like tan colored on the outside, a lot of times they don't look so good after a couple years. But this one looks almost like it just came out of the factory. It's really good condition. It's 
kind of hard to keep them that way if you park them in the sun. So we believe this was fully covered or parked indoors for most of its lifespan. Otherwise, it would show more exposure to the elements and it really doesn't show. It's actually really good condition inside and outside. The outside is the harder one to take care of. So even the front, smooth, glossy fiberglass. There's like only one small tiny chip in the windshield that this only has 6,000 miles on it uh, approximately as we're filming this video. Two big slide outs. Notice how deep the slide is. This, some slide outs only come out 12 inches. Some come out 24 inches. This one comes out about 30 inches. Almost three feet. You got wide towing mirrors. Six Goodyear tires. Now the tires on here are look to be in good condition. We did carefully inspect them. We didn't find any cracking or anything like that. So I'm going to take a look at the pass-through storage. It goes all the way across. So when you have your big folding tables, picnic tables and things like that, there's a couple of compartments up by the entry door and over here where all those big items will fit inside the cargo compartment, which is really nice. So we're going to walk around inside the Coachman Murata 32DS motorhome. This only has, what, 8,000 miles on it, something like that. It's really low mileage and it looks like brand new on the outside and in the inside. Super clean, mint condition. This one has the genuine Corian countertop with a little uh, steel coin in, built into the countertop. It's genuine Corian. It's got Corian sink covers. All LED lighting inside. Nice 32-inch uh, LCD T LCD TV HD TV. Dual air conditioner units, front and rear because it has the big generator. So it's got large sliding wardrobe closet doors here with locking clips so they don't move when you drive. So you can hang your clothes in this wardrobe. And these slide and they lock. We put brand new clamps on here to clamp the doors into place. Privacy wooden doors here. Close off so you have real privacy in the bedroom. You know, some motorhomes just have a little, like a fabric curtain for privacy, but this has real wood doors. So you can secure the bedroom and you have a walk around queen bed. Now when I say walk around queen bed, that means you can go walk all the way around. You have regular floor height all the way around. So we can go over here. And this is all LED lighting. So you got a little LED reading lights. You got the premium wood, if I can get really close. I don't know if you're watching this video on a little phone, but it's much better to watch the video on your home, you know, 70 inch smart TV in your living room. Watch this video on your living room TV is you can really take a look at the quality of the wood. Min condition, additional wardrobe closets. So there's a lot of place to store your clothing in the RV. Bedroom TV. We upgraded all the lighting to LED inside. The advantage of LED lighting is it uses very little electricity. So if you dry camp and you're running on battery or using lights when you're driving, you're not straining your alternator or your battery system. Those regular incandescent bulbs, we left you some spares. The old style light bulbs, you know, incandescent, they use a lot more power. And you've got these digital AC controls, a lot of storage. 110 volt power. This one has a little desk workstation where you can put your chair under here and you can do makeup or you can work on your computer. 
not a lot of com RVs have a a desk but this one does so if you need to work on the road distance learning you've got kids with you going to school on the road or whatever your story is you know during your triple lockdown in your state depending where you live you can get in here you know your kids can study you can do work whatever you need to do got a real desk in the bedroom just got to bring your own chair because there's no chair with it we're going to show the bathroom led lights nice and bright in the LED, in the bathroom glass shower enclosure you got shelves for your soap and it's a decent sized shower it's got a locking thing so the doors don't move around when you're driving but i'm 5'11 i can easily fit plenty of vertical clearance maybe six extra inches if you're really tall six and a half feet tall or whatever porcelain toilet some rvs have plastic toilets but this is a real porcelain toilet like you might have in your house you got your mobile rest stop with you at all times so you don't have to use bathrooms with who knows use the bathroom before you this is your own private space only you have control over who uses the bathroom I'm gonna take a look at the control panel here this shows the hours on the generator I'm telling you this RV is like brand new it's only got 93 hours on the generator I put some of those 93 hours on here you know testing it making sure it works good but on the level controls you can check how full your tanks are you got lots of propane right now the batteries are great fresh water has half black tank empty gray tank empty and you have auxiliary tank measurement you can start and stop the generator from here you got slide one in and out slide two in and out and you got your electric uh, water heater so when you turn on the hot water it comes on pilot lights and then it's heating the water so when you're dry camping you have take nice hot showers um, doing dishes we put a brand new LED light over the sink area here so you can see the water is fully operational right now this is on the water pump we're not on city water we're on the onboard water tank right now three burner gas cooktop with a real uh, propane fired oven you know sometimes if you go to a campground like in a state park or national park and you show up at like 9 p.m. they have no generator quiet time so that means you show up at 9 p.m. you're not supposed to run your generator because the people sleeping in tents won't like it now if you go to a full hookup campground like at a KOA or Good Sam Park it doesn't matter but if you're in some of these more primitive locations where they have a lot of people sleeping around you in tents they don't want using the generators after 8 p.m. so having a gas oven you can be cooking in here with your LED lights on and not plugged into any power you're not using your generator and you're gonna be nice and bright using your kitchen the microwave requires the generator to be running to use it and if someone's sleeping next to you in a tent they might not appreciate it if they go to bed early super clean RV refrigerator it looks like they never even used it it's really really like brand new in here now we did have our housekeeper go through and clean it anyways but uh it looks like brand spanking new like they never even spilled a an ice cream in the refrigerator like maybe they even never even used it in addition to the ridge in addition to the refrigerator you have a pantry for put your bags of chips or cans of soup in here and the and this is clean look no signs of use it's like going out and paying a hundred thousand dollars for a brand new motorhome or maybe more than that except that you're not paying that much you're buying a, a a little bit older unit that's barely used let's look under the kitchen sink you know that's the place you want to look if you see how much wear and tear something has you open up look underneath the kitchen sink and see how it looks nice and clean under there open up your pots and pans drawer see how it looks in there you know 
because it's low mileage pots and pans haven't been sliding around in there so you're gonna be really happy because you're gonna feel like this is mine nobody really used it before me once you own it an additional compartment over here you know this compartment right here next to the entry entry location now this has a euro recliner chair and sitting on top of it is an air mattress this is a two cell air mattress i'm going to show you a picture to keep the video short i'm not going to open the bed and put it back away i'm just going to show you a picture right now of the bed opened up with the air mattress inflated and this has two separate cells so a left side and a right side so if two people are sleeping and they're moving around the air doesn't move on the opposite side and i'm going to show you a picture of the dinette turned into a bed this has a really cool table vader it's like an elevator for the table so underneath here you release this locking lever and then you push down the table goes down on the older rvs you literally had to pick up the table and move a leg out of the way and you know some, some grandpa would get in and lean on it it'd mess it up these are pretty sturdy and we don't have much trouble with these and especially being in almost brand new storage underneath here put your bottled waters or something under there additional storage underneath remote controls and so forth under there there's a video DVD player for the TV so you can watch movies if you want even the chandelier has a LED lighting brand new LED lighting installed we put that in there for you because the LED lighting is a really popular option and we found some that work really well they're nice and bright in here with a very minimal use of power and of course on the front you have a wraparound curtain so we changed we got these nice tie backs keep the curtain out of your way when you're driving and then you you can close this all the way across for privacy when you're sleeping in here nobody will see you won't be like in a big aquarium fishbowl you know people looking through the giant window to see what you're doing now this RV does not have a front bed but it has storage in the front which is nice if you don't want to bring too many guests you have this RV all to yourself how many seat belts are there there are six two for the two front seats two in the sofa and two in the dinette area so six seat belts for passengers are included built from the factory for the RV it's got cup holders you got two in the center you got one next to the driver's seat it's possible to add more cup holders if you like cup holders let's start the engine and look at the seats now the seat material on this RV looks like it was redone we didn't redo it it looks like brand new perfect condition and it could be original or it could have been redone I can't decide coachmen on some of their coaches used a very durable material that lasts so this could be factory I'm just not sure sometimes we have to change it but we didn't have to change the front seats or do anything to them there they look perfect so we're starting the engine now when you first start an engine on one of these you're gonna hear a noise and that's your hydro boost because these have a hydro boost braking system and you'll notice we have the backup camera we have dash air conditioning all the acs are blowing nice and cold right now we have dash fan dash defrost fans so let's look at the controls here i used to illustrate this but i like the video to show it better so auxiliary start what that is is if you have a been camping for a while and you run down one of your sets of batteries because they're separate batteries for the engine from the house and if you happen to run leave your lights on or something and run down your engine battery you can hit the auxiliary start button and it ties the two batteries together to give the engine a jump start at the press of a button now we're not having any problems with the batteries right now this is if you go camping and then you forgot you left the lights on all night looking cool and then uh, you needed to jump start it you can start and stop the generator from right here 
the second button, generator start. Then you have your dash fans. Those dash fans are up here. Turn those on. They're two speed, so they have low and high. There's another one over there. Now, if you're driving the winter time in an RV like this, you have a very large window and those, da do, those dash fans are very helpful to defrost your front window. When you're driving, if it's very cold outside, you know you've held a cold drink in your hands before and you know how it gets all wet. So if it's nice and warm and toasty inside and it's icy cold 17 degrees outside, you could get condensation on the window and those dash fans prevent that so you can keep driving and it helps out the defroster that's what those are for in the summertime they may help out the air conditioning a little bit but those are more for winter use now you also have a fog light switch to turn on and off your fog lights that's the next switch over you've got the little blue switch here i think that's for led eyebrow lights and then your fully auto leveling jacks now these leveling jack system is full auto or semi-auto so on this video, I'm explaining the way these leveling jacks work. They're very easy to use, and I have good results with this design, the LCI electronic leveling. Now it's on because I pushed, started the engine. The engine has to be on to use the leveling jacks. And you can press auto, and the jacks will automatically go down one at a time until the coach is level. I prefer to use manual, M-A-N, manual manual is not man it's manual but it's actually semi-automatic so when you turn on manual it takes about a second and then you press left the coach will raise the left side until it's approximately level left or right and then it'll stop automatically then you can raise the jacks on the right side i would usually go whatever side is lowest first so if the left side is leaning low you raise the left side. If the right side is leaning low, you do that one first. Whichever the lowest side first, raise it until it stops automatically and that little green light will blink saying, hey, I'm level left to right. And then you lower the jacks on the opposite side to stabilize it. That's really helpful if you pull into a beautiful turnout next to the beach or next to a river on the side of a mountain where you have a great view and you want to stop and have lunch, you can level it left or right. Now, when you're leveling a coach, you don't want to lift the wheels off the ground. You want the tires touching the ground. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, if you lift your rear tires off the ground, that's your parking brake is tied to those rear wheels. And if they're off the ground, then your parking brake's not effectively not doing anything because the wheels are in the air. The second reason you don't want to lift the wheels off the ground is just in case anybody's little pet crawls under there and says oh this is a nice warm spot i'm gonna lay here when you lower the jack if somebody's underneath there they they or their creatures could be hurt so you don't want to do it for those reasons um so manual which is actually semi-auto or full auto when you use full auto it tends to lift the rv higher off the ground and you're more likely to lift tires off the ground. That's one of the reasons why I like manual. And then if you're in manual mode and you hit all jacks retract, it'll manually retract the jacks a little bit at a time. If you're not in manual mode and you hit that, then they'll retract all the way. But you can also retract the jacks by releasing the parking brake. And then it'll emergency retract the jacks and they'll go all the way up. And they retract pretty fast. They retract up faster than they go down because of the nature of hydraulics. So we talked about the mileage. The current odometer reading is 8,988 miles on the odometer. And the engine has 222 hours of engine on time. This Ford V10 has the tow haul mode. When you turn on tow haul mode, that's really helpful when you're going up or down in hills because in tow haul mode when you push on the brake pedal and you're coming down a grade uh, uh, down a hill it'll downshift automatically the engine in the old days when you were coming down the hill you're supposed to downshift to a lower gear but when you're in tow haul mode it does it automatically when you're pushing the brake to help slow your speed 
So coming down a hill, you don't wear out your brakes. You don't heat them up, and, and it's really helpful. Your brakes should last you a really long time if you're using tow haul mode. Over here, we have our backup camera. The backup camera is extremely nice one. And then, very clear view. We have a car parked there. We have a very wide field of vision. We can see almost straight down to the trailer hitch. There's no trailer hitch on it right. There's a hitch mounted, but there's no trailer ball. But if you were towing a trailer, a vehicle or something, you could see the whole thing behind here to make sure it's okay. But we can easily see that we have a path to back out of this parking spot. We have the stereo system. We can turn it on. We can listen to it. The stereo is a nice stereo system. And we have our dash, ice cold dash air conditioning. Now up over the dash, we have a light. Now you on a lot of the Fords, with this headlight switch if you turn this bright dim all the way up it'll go click and that turns the light on using your thumb so if you need a reading light it's easy to get to just by spinning the wheel you turn the light on and then of course that dims or brightens your dash lights as well when the dash lights are on all these buttons are illuminated you know on a lot of RVs you can't see the switches at night but these are night illuminated by the headlights. This is a tilt steering wheel, intermittent windshield wipers, cruise control. And of course we got these nice cup holders in the edge and hump right here. Now these seats, they swivel around, they recline. So I turn the lever to release it, make sure the seat belts have clearance. And then the seats can swivel around so you can sit there and enjoy the conversation. Now this RV has a little bit of carpet, that's because of the design, you know, some people don't like carpet, but it's a little bit, it's super clean, and we had our detailer come through and shampoo it, so it's as clean as possible, it looks really good, I mean, low mileage, 8,000 miles, is not much wear and tear. It's a very nice RV. There is storage under the bed. So the bed lifts up and you have also got this large storage area under here. Right here is the box for the air mattress and the two stage air pump to pump it up. Close that down. So you got a lot of storage in this motorhome inside and a lot of storage outside. Now underneath the closet, I forgot to open these drawers up. You, you lift them up because they lock so they don't fly open when you're driving. And you got giant storage under here. Now this is not bunk beds on this one. Although if you had a small grandkid and you secure the doors open, it is theoretically possible you could sleep a grandkid in there if you put a little mattress in there. You got to make sure the doors stay open so they have air and everything. You don't want to lock these into position a little kid won't be able to get out but this is not a bunk bed but hypothetically you could sleep someone in that position if you were really needing an extra sleep space for someone who's not too tall but it's not necessarily designed for that purpose another look at the restroom see the wood they do a really nice job. I like Coachman Motorhomes. Coachman is owned by Forest River, but it runs as its own company. So you have Forest River models like the Georgetown, which this is very similar to the Georgetown, but Coachman is run as almost a completely different company under the Forest River brand. So they've been around for a long time. They have a really good reputation. Some sometimes the values seem really strong compared with other motorhomes because they have a high build quality and if you just look at the wood on this one you know you go look at some rvs and they use something called thermofoil where the wood is just like a piece of plastic glued to particle board but this is a much nicer high quality real wood this is you can see the grain this is not thermofoil wood it's possible there could be some in here, but it's a much higher build quality than say, like a, some of the cheaper uh, motorhomes you'll look at with all that thermal foil. 
And then this is a vinyl flooring, so it's easy to sweep it clean. We had the housekeeper mop it, and uh, it's super clean. You can drop your food on here for the time being and pick it up and eat it. It's really clean. I really don't recommend that, but I know the housekeeper did a really good job cleaning it. If you're curious about the LED lighting, this is the original lighting fixtures for it. We just put the LED light bulbs in there, if you can see that. It's an actual LED light bulb, a flat one. Makes them nice and bright. And they're brand new, so they should be very reliable. LEDs are very reliable. The interior grill is brand new. This is a complete brand new front air conditioning assembly. Even the plastic, everything is brand new. And it works really nice. 15,000 BTU, it's enough to cool the entire ACE uh, interior of the coach in normal conditions. Only in the hottest summer conditions you need to run the rear AC. And this one has chill grills, so you can open or close this. If it's open, you can stand under here and get a direct blast of AC. If it's closed, it forces the air through the duct work, which is shaped like an H. It comes out into the side ducts and forward and backward through the coach. And you can call the entire coach running one AC or both AC uh, working together. You could have one with the chill grills open, the other one forcing it through the ducts, or just run one. And you can use the AC running on generator when you're going down the road. So this is a nice one. This is a 32 foot floor plan. It's not too long, but look, there is so much space and storage in here. You compare it to like the C-Class. Here's a picture of a C-Class motorhome. This is not a C-Class. It's easier to drive than a C-Class. It turns tighter than a C-Class and has a lot more room inside. So very, very cool. I forgot to mention the televisions. I'm about to wrap up inside, but these are HD TVs. So right now we're not plugged into anything except 110 volt power. And we're running the TVs and all the lights and one AC. This is not. This has a 50 amp power input, but we're only on 30 right now. But we can change the channels. This is over the air broadcast. We're not plugged into satellite or anything, so we can just pick up over the air, change the channel. You know, 5.1 over the air. We don't want to watch his commercial. We're not voting for that guy. Politics. But see, you can you can auto scan for channels, over the air broadcast, cable TV, whatever, and it'll auto scan the um, the channels till you find something that you want to watch. Um, you could add satellite to it, but we're getting HD TV without the satellite connected. We're not here to watch cat videos. The same thing for the bedroom TV. So you can play movies on it and so forth. You can hook up a, a Chromecast or something to it. In the master bedroom, you have a mirror here, a large mirror for, it makes the bedroom look even bigger. You have mirrors on the wardrobe cabinet. And I'm just about uh, wrapping it up on the inside here. I have to point out that when we shot the video of this 32 DS, it had its original air conditioning unit installed which is sitting on the ground over here. We actually replaced this unit. We found a problem with it. So we replaced it with a brand new complete uh, higher output 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit. The old one was only a 13.5 and the new one is a 15,000 BTU. So we're just gonna climb up the ladder here and take a look at it so you can visually see the difference. So, evolution, the evolution unit is the 15,000 BTU and this unit comes with a two year warranty from Dometic. So when you buy the motorhome, that air conditioning comes with a two year warranty because it's brand new installed. The rear air conditioner is still the original. It doesn't get as much use because it's in the back. That one is fine. 
We did find a problem with this one, so we just replaced it with a brand new unit with warranty. Everything complete, including the interior grill. So we're up on the roof of this Coachman Murata taking a look. The roof is in, like, looks like brand new up here. It's a really good condition. And the previous owner looks like they did a lot to make sure it wouldn't leak. They've been resealed at least once. It has weatherproof vent covers. These things right here. So those are really cool because they let you leave your vent open like in the restroom so you get fresh air circulating through the restroom and you don't have to worry about rain or debris coming in. Works really good. Don't find any imperfections. There's a second roof vent over the kitchen. Front air conditioning unit. Radio antenna, TV antenna. Topper awnings over the slide out. Now when you park in a nice campground and there's squirrels and birds in the trees above and they're throwing their acorns at you they just roll off the side of the rv they don't you don't have to come up here with a broom and sweep it off and if you're in a snow blizzard where the little snow falls you it'll just roll right off the side of the rv like a little conveyor belt so of course i mentioned we put a brand new awning for the main patio awning it's all brand new really nice condition Your rear air conditioning and your bathroom skylight and these little bumps those are your bathroom uh and kitchen ri vent risers to vent your tanks to the outside the ac is on right now it's a little condensation draining off from the ac and then of course the slide topper awning over the bedroom slide out video i want to finish up by reminding you that we replaced the air conditioning unit on it has the brand new Dometic 15,000 BTU air conditioner on the front with warranty. Looks a little different than the original AC. It's more compact and it's got quieter operation. Let's take a look under the chassis here. As we see underneath, the generator's running right now and we see our 80 gallon fuel tank, our hydraulic leveling jacks, Bilstein shock, Tires have nice thick tire tread. We have carefully inspected. We didn't find any cracking or hardness of the tires. The tires are in good, safe condition. We've seen these Goodyears last in excess of 10 years, but these are not that old yet. If you want new tires, let me know. It's about $2,100 for a set of six. There's your catalytic converter, exhaust system, front springs and suspension. There's no oil leaking from the front. Your front tire is also in great condition. Um, the radiator, no leaks from the engine compartment of any fluids at all. Nice and dry under there. Won't leave oil spots or anything like that. Thick tire treads, steering is all secure. Notice there's not much rust or corrosion at all underneath this coach. This is a California coach. It's not been in the snow states where they use salt and corrosive stuff that would make it look not so pretty underneath your rear tires also every tire matches nice thick tire tread and we installed a set of valve stem extenders for you so you can easily check your tire pressure before you and after and during your trips without having to do any extra effort another look at the 50 gallon fuel tank and now we're back at the V5 towing package rated for 5,000 pounds. So thank you for watching the video about the um, Coachman Murata 32DS. Very clean motorhome. My name is Mike Johnson. I'm an RV dealer. I've had lots of Coachman Muratas. The, check if this one is still available by going onto my website, which I'm going to show you in a second and check my inventory to see what's available. I, I'm selling motorhomes fairly quickly in 2020. They're selling out fast. Here's the website. MyBestCar.com That's my website, MyBestCar.com And this is the company name, a Buyer's Choice. So, if you want to buy the car, I mean buy the RV, 
see if it's available by going to the website mybizcar.com and when you're ready to write the check you're going to pay it to the order of a buyer's choice thank you for watching